What is it like to play a law enforcement agent again after Clary Sterling, after all these years? Well, I never wanted to again until I met this project, you know, <laughs> so it's wonderful because I'm so proud of Silence of the Lambs. Uh, she's nothing, my character Liz Danvers is nothing like Clary Sterling, and she's 40 years older. Uh, Issa's created two characters, really, that kind of are these shadow sides of each other and yet meet in this skill, this detecting skill. So I'm just thrilled to be back in the genre, to tell you the truth. And Issa, True Detective is a crime thriller that is a genre well served by great movies and TV shows. So what fresh elements the fans can expect from Night Country? I think that it does have a tinge of the supernatural in it without making it a horror show at all. But um, it, it connects with the original True Detective, which had that whole Lovecraftian Carcosa thing. And the, com the combine of, of those supernatural elements with profound drama, because it really goes into the themes of loneliness, of loss, and a little bit of sense of humor in a very, very noir setting is what's going to make it pop, hopefully. <laughs> it's been six years. Why are you here? Because you both know what really happened. I you need my help. I've seen that before. And Kelly, how was the experience of starting in your first TV project with such a great team? I, it was like going to school. I mean, I couldn't have had a better experience between just the personal connections, the comfortability, and then learning so much. Um, and just because this is such a big project and you know a lot of pressure on me for you know, being the, the newbie and like, what, what better teacher is and to learn about, and also the collaboration freedom that I had. It wasn't like, you're the student, we're the teachers, this is what you do. It was like, well, what can we do to tell the best story? So that was the best part of it too. And Liz and Evangeline don't get, don't... Get along. Yeah, they don't get along. They, <laughs> as you said earlier, they hate each other, yeah. so, but you seem to be good friends. So how was the, the process of creating this dynamic on screen that seems to be so different from the, the bond that you made behind the scenes? I think Liz and Evangeline had this dynamic mm -hmm. at one point. That's what probably some of the hate comes from because whatever happened to make them split, I think they really cherish this part of them because mm -hmm. there's that as well. There's a love hate, but they respect each other and they work so good together. And I think they hate that as well as sometimes yeah. because they know the best person for the job to help them do the job is the other one. The other one. It's like, mm -hmm. okay. And what were the toughest parts of filming in Iceland? <laughs> because watching the trailer, that moment when someone falls into the cold water, I litter froze out so I can imagine what you went through. Well, nobody fell through the ice. One of our cranes almost did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> scared the crap out of me. It was like there. Uh, you know, now in the distance, it feels like an incredible adventure. I would never do it again. <laughs> but, uh, but now we go, we had days that we had 15 minutes before a massive, massive, serious storm hit and we had to get the take because that set was going. And I was like, don't cut, go again, go again, go again, go again. And then we have it. Yes, are you sure? I think, run. <laughs> and then just grab and you, even the, you know, the cast and the directory was like, how can I help? Just mm -hmm. grabbing the stuff. Because yeah. when the wind hits, in that particular scene, we were on a frozen lake and it would slide you on the lake carrying equipment, you know? <laughs> so had we shot it the way that some Lucasfilm or Marvel shows are shot, and I met a couple of people in the press that assumed that we had shot in the volume, which is a 360 method of having 8K projections. No, 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 we were there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and yeah, it does create something in the performances in the in the reality of putting these characters in the eyes in the mm. night that would have never been able to recreate later. And uh, you said before that the Latin Americans will feel some things different uh -huh. from Night Country. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah. There is a side of this that um, that deals with a wider world. Let's call it than what happens in the day-to-day -day reality. And I think that comes directly from my uh, Latin American experience and from growing up with people that 
believed that there were powers higher than ours and that the dead never really leave our side. So that is absolutely a, a central part of the narration in this. That and a very dark, very dark sense of humor. Um, the fact that uh, we have these men frozen and um, Danvers is able to crack jokes around them. Um, <laughs> Bad yeah, jokes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> um, that combination of sublime beauty in the environment and, and incredibly poetic moments with very macabre uh, moments and visions is what I think is intrinsically Latin American. And Jody, this is your first leading role on TV on a while, but in, recently... In about 45 years, yeah. <laughs> maybe 50. <laughs> My sources say almost 50. <laughs> yeah, so, almost 50. <laughs> uh, but directing episodes for TV shows like Black Mirror helped to return to TV? Yeah, and that's really, I was so excited to do that, to come back to come back to television from another perspective, the streaming perspective, where you're actually given the tools that you need and have you know, better scripts and really be able to attack it in a different way. I mean, I'm so proud of where, where narrative film is taking its place now in streaming. Yeah, and what was the most fun experience for you in the production? Because you said that no one asked this. So That's true. Did. Nobody did. Yeah, no, I mean, I just the, the, the friendship. I mean, yeah. I, this is going to always go beyond True Detective. Mm -hmm. And, the, you know, we were all in it together. We were all on the frozen lake together, which I will say, I didn't know we were going on an actual frozen lake till we got there. I did know, <laughs> but then I was like, wait a minute. I remember I rolled up like, wait, what? Like, we all were in it together and we all loved the script and loved the story that we just found so much fun. And then we were the Icelandic people are just amazing, the food, the everything that, you know, there was obviously there's things that could go wrong, but we got blessed. I mean, it was just such a great experience and what better experience to have such an early in my career. You guys spoiled me because I'm expecting everything, everything to go this way, so.